So the recording has started. Uh, let me pull you over here. Let me do this. It's a lot of clicks to get this how I want it. Uh, share my screen. Share this. Click that. Go over here. All right. Can you give me thumbs up if you uh, see the 3.2 lesson four? There's four little images there. You can? Great. I'll zoom in a little bit, hopefully make it a little easier to see. Um, all right, here's what we're going to do. As a little warm up, in your notebooks, I want you to, you don't have to copy this down, but the question is, which one of these four images doesn't belong? And I should also make a quick adjustment here. Oops. I, I have my iPad here, and that's what I'm trying to do um, to, to work on it and show you what I'm talking about. So let me make a quick change here. C is supposed to look like this. But for whatever reason, it doesn't. So it's just covered in squares as well as dots. Okay, so take about a minute, write in your notebook, which one doesn't belong? And if you zero in on one of them, maybe try another one. See, is there some other characteristic or something for a different uh, letter that makes it stand out and makes it not belong? about 20 more seconds. Oops, just a second, it left me, there we go. Take your final thoughts down. All right, let's talk about this. Uh, let's make sure we're on mute. Thank you. Um, and it's a little hard for me to see. I have you guys up on my um, overhead projector, so I have to kind of look around the computer to see. Um, it might be easier if you do the hand raise button instead of raising your hand, because it notifies me a little easier. Um, but does someone want to raise their hand? I see Adelina um, and explain which one of these four do you think doesn't belong and explain why. So Adelina, go for it. Sorry. Okay, so number C does not belong. One of mm -hmm. the columns is more than the one, the number, than letter A. So there's one okay. more column. Okay. Instead, five of them, and there's six. There's six and five. Okay. Not equal. Okay, which one has six? Which one has five? Um, number A has five um, uh, rows going this way, and five rows, okay. five rows going that way. And, and then. Okay. Number remember we second. remember we have a word for that we have um rows going this way but columns columns right thank you okay so you said that there's five in a but did you say six for c yes okay how many are there for b and d b and d there's the four columns. There's not four columns, but there's like four, four rows, and then there's five columns in that letter B, and there is four um, columns 
and there is I can't really <sighs> they'll jumble up so it goes up I know and up and go down and up okay um so you said that there's five columns in B how many so in the first period I was kind of thinking D looks a little bit like uh, five different boats, right? Or like kayaks. And uh, oh. there's, you think of the dots as maybe people in it. So how many boats are there? How many groups are there? There is five boats. Yep, there are five boats, so five groups. And you could even think of those as five columns, right? Because they're going up and down. Okay, how many are in each boat, Adelina? Um, four. There are four. There are. And that's kind of an ugly four, sorry. Um, so we have four in each. Um, over here we have four, what do we call them? Rows. Four rows. So again, this just helps us prove the point that C has a, a very, a good reason for standing out and being different and not belonging because it has six columns, whereas the other ones have five. OK, uh, does someone else want to raise their hand and give me an example? I see Daniela has her hand raised. Do you want to share your thoughts? I, for I forgot to put it down. OK, um, do you remember which one it was? Daniela, Daniela, do you remember uh, which one you selected? It was num. It was C. Okay. Uh, was it the same reason as what Adelina just said? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Malia, do you have another example? No. No, it's the same as Adelina's. Okay. What do you notice about this is for everyone, not just Malia? She can't answer if she wants, but what do you notice about how each of these look? Maybe what's what's a, something that stands out on how it looks? Not even the number of dots or squares or anything. Malia? Is that each um, of them have five col um, columns, but not C? OK, so that's uh, another example for C. What do you notice about D? It looks kind of strange, doesn't it? Is that they each have four in them? They do each have four in them, but uh, don't these other ones have four in each column as well? What do you notice about the shape? Um, the shape is a. Is it a shape? No. Yeah, I. It's not really one shape that makes that path, right? Uh, I see it, at least personally, I see it as more five separate groups, five different boats. Uh, are these a shape? Are A, B, and C a shape? Yeah. Yeah, what shape? Um, a square. Uh, close. A uh, rectangle. Quite equal sides. Yeah, rectangle. Uh, so I'm going to put over here for D, not a, I'm going to draw it, rectangle. Okay. It's not a perfect rectangle, but um, D can stand out and doesn't belong because it's not a rectangle, right? OK, what about A? What's different about A? Is it a rectangle? No. Adelina, I see your hand. You want to come off mute? Is it's not a rectangle, but it's a square. It's a square box. Is it a square? 
Pretty sure it is. It looks like one. Pretty sure. Uh, so we said that this has five on the top across. What about in each column? Like how, how many are there? Four. Yeah, there are four there. If you have different lengths for the sides, can it be a square? No, four. No, but it is another shape, isn't it? It's a rectangle. It is a rectangle. Um, so we could say um, there's no dots in A. You see that? That makes it stand out. OK. And um, B, you can come up with some other reasons too. But I want to get to this next question. How can you figure out how many dots or squares are in total for any of these? Someone walk me through how they would find the number of dots or squares. Okay, Malia, do you want to come off mute? Um, by looking at the rows and columns. Okay, explain more. Say a little bit more. Um, they could look at the five at the top and the four um, in the column. OK, so I'm going to I'm going to look at B for this one. Um, so you said that you can look at the five and the four. OK, what can you do with the five and the four? Add them. Add them together. So uh -huh. if you're trying to figure out the total. You would add five and four, so it'd be nine total. Yeah. There's nine total dots in B. Are you sure about no. that? No, yeah, there's a little bit more than nine. Let's let's look at um, D real fast and then we'll get back to B. Um, we noticed in the first class that D with how it's set up in these little boats. Um, it allows us to separate each of the columns into their own piece. Right, how many dots are, are in this first boat? How many people can fit? Four. Yep, there are four in this first boat. OK, and if we're trying to find the total uh, amount of dots for this entire figure here for D. Um, oops, didn't mean to mark there. Hold up, having some issues. There we go. Uh, if we're trying to find the total for all of this, there's four here. And there's four in the second boat. And four in this third and four in the fourth. And four on the fifth. Well, what's four added together five times? You can try skip counting. Twelve. Close. Let's go through it uh, one at a time. This first piece here is sorry. Um, we have four here. After we add it together, we have eight there. Plus four more gives us 12 there. Plus four more gives us 16. Plus four more gives us 20. So in total, there are 20 total dots for D, right? We can add each of these boats together to get 20 total. So if we look back at B over here, if we have five uh, on the top and four on the side here, so we have five columns and four rows. Five plus five plus four plus four. Um, if we have five columns and four rows, we can do the same thing. Four right? plus four plus five plus five. Four plus four. Plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four equals, and we just said that equals. Twenty. Yep, twenty. Is there a faster way of doing this? Katie, do you have your hand up? 
No, I just forgot to put it down. Okay, Adelina, do you have your hand up? What's maybe a faster way of doing this instead of counting by fours each time? Adelina, go for it. You can count by fives instead of you four. You can count by fives. What did we say on, on Friday, on last week, um, about when we're counting by the same thing each time and it's a pattern? Any ideas? Do you remember how to find area from last year? Area of a rectangle? Tania? You can either find, count the sides or you can count the in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. is, is there a way that multiplication comes into this? Uh, How are five, four, and twenty related? Any ideas? What happens when we multiply five and four together? What's our answer? Five times four. One T. Twenty. It equals twenty, right? That's what you guys should have learned last year with Mrs. Thornton. When you have the side lengths of a rectangle, you can multiply them together to get the area mm -hmm. inside. You guys remember what area is? Yes. Yeah, it's the amount inside. So if we're trying to figure out how many dots are there in this rectangle, we can take however many columns there are. In this case, there are five columns. And how many rows there are, there are four rows. And you can multiply those numbers together to get the total amount. Is that ringing any bells, reminding you of last year? Yeah. OK, let's take a, a quick look at uh, something similar to what you'll do in um, the assignments. So let me scroll down. Here we go. With the same kind of thinking that we were just doing. Oh my goodness. There we go. How would you find the area of this figure here? find the area of that figure there. Malia. Um, by looking at the rows and columns. Great. Tell me more. And then when you um you add um How many rows are there? Six. Um, close. You might be mixing that up with something else. We had rows and columns. <laughs> rows go this way, right? Oh, yeah. Three. Yeah, there are three rows. How many columns? Mm -hmm. You just had it. Six. There are six. Okay. What did we just talk about when we're trying to find the area? Of a rectangle. Count inside of them. What was it, Malia? Count um on the area inside of the rectangle. Okay, yep. Yeah. So area is what's inside. Mm -hmm. So you can think of it as all that yummy filling. Okay. How can we use the side lengths, the six and the three, to quickly find what's inside? A three sixes. And add them together. 
Yep, we could do three sixes, so we could think of it like this. There's three in this first one, and then we're adding in three from the second one. And, oh, whoops, sorry, it should be six. So if we had six in the first, six in the second, plus six in the third, what's three sixes together, Camila? That is 18, and you could also do multiplication. Yeah, that's another great way of doing. That's what I was hoping would, would come up, uh, Camila. So thank you for bringing that up. This is a great way of doing it, Malia. Uh, you can add each of the amount of that are in each row together. So six and six and six to get 18. But mm -hmm. remember, when we're finding the area of something uh, that's at least a rectangle or a square, we can take these side lengths of Ooh, I'm going dark. You can take those side lengths and multiply them together. And I'm running out of time. I want to make sure we hold to that 30 minute mark. Um, so I'm going to, to end it here unless we have more questions. But just to uh, remind ourselves, we can take these side lengths and multiply them together to get our total area of rectangles. So when we get to the homework, I'll show you the homework right now. You're going to be doing the exact same thing. Okay, there are four problems. I'm going to only show you three of them right now. But what I want you to show me is how you are getting the area of each of these rectangles. Okay, I'd like you to um, show me um, the side links that you're using. Are you using addition? Are you using multiplication? Um, but either way, I want you to show me how you are getting your answer uh, for the area of each of these rectangles. Yeah, I'm going to switch over really fast. Um, keep showing my screen so that those online can see it too when I post it in a little bit uh, later. So when I go into block two, your new assignment that was posted just before class started is called Find the Area by Counting. Page four, you go into student view. Um, I'm trying something new with you guys. You have been using Microsoft Word uh, and it's been all right, but it's kind of limited. So I'm trying, it's called OneNote. Um, the cool thing about OneNote, at least I'm hoping it works for you as, uh, as well as I plan. Um, here's your worksheet when you click on that assignment. Um, the nice thing about OneNote is that when you edit it and edit in the browser here, whether you're on a computer or um, a tablet or perhaps a cell phone, I, I don't know if a cell phone will work or not, um, you can double click and it'll give you this little text box. And you can drag it up here and let's say you're talking about number one, you're trying to find the area so you can just start typing. Find the area of each rectangle, explain or show your reasoning. Well, I think the area is dot, 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 dot. I know this because dot, 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 dot. Okay. That's one cool thing you can do. Another thing uh, that you can do is go up to the top here and there's draw. And you can click a color, preferably black, um, and you can, you can write out. Uh, there's two on this side. Um, let's see, there are nine on this side. So I know I can multiply them together or I can add up each of the rows or each of the columns. Uh, I want to see that kind of work. And I'm hoping that it works as well as um, I think it will. All in all, if you're still having issues with it, then just do it on a separate sheet of paper. That's about all we can do at this point. And there, I'm not going to dock you on points for anything like that. Um, I'm just I wanted to try this out so that um, we can see if it would work. All right. So let me stop recording. And